Hello, everybody. I hope everyone's having a good time this past couple weeks. It's been a hot minute since I made a last dev blog, so I'm just going to go over some new things that are coming in the in the next update, which is going to be around Friday, Saturday-ish. Depends. We're in the middle of our QA testing phase right now, so we're just getting everything prepped and ready for launch. So I'm just going to go through and show you all some stuff that we added. So a big change that was done is we've redone all the the Con 1 containment chamber designs to be more unique. All containment chambers now have uh, detailed lists of how to test on the SCP, what the SCP is, etc. Some chambers haven't been redesigned because they don't need it. But for the most part, I'd say a good 80% have received unique updates, uh, mainly raised height on the ceilings and the, the large window panels now that people can test through. We also have some new SCPs, mainly revamped. But here, SCP-1139 here. He has been updated to be different, so you'll be able to mess with it as well. Here's soda, etc, etc. I can pop in and yeah, it's a lot more space now. You're not going to be cramped anymore. Kind of squeeze yourself in. You can actually see now through the windows. Uh, the chambers that were in here, uh, very limited uh, size. The size limits are not amazing. So we had to squeeze everything in as good as we could. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I remember all the SCPs that have been changed. 1193 was changed, yeah. 1193 is revamped. 498 has been changed as well, as you can see. We don't have fun testing that. Uh, sound range on Tesla gates and stuff have all been lowered, so you're not going to be able to hear them all over the site anymore. Um, I would test, but I'm, I would show you, but I'm by myself, so it's kind of hard to show you that. Uh, a couple others as well, but that's all I'm going to show here for now. I'll leave the rest up y'all when you get in to test for yourselves. Pop on over to Con 2. Got a couple new SCPs. And, well, not new, but revamped SCPs. SCP-008 is a big one. Completely redid it. Okay, never mind. I'll come back later. I didn't meet the anti-exploit requirements for it. So let's just continue on. I'll revert back to zero right when I come back. Uh, 457 has gotten some big overhauls. New sounds. You can't hear them. Not super far away anymore. As you can see, we have water guns now. Well, let's just switch over to the RT or ETF. In zero zero eight, real quick. Oh, I'm sick. So the infection incubation period is thirty to sixty seconds. You have a one in eight chance to turn into a tank zombie. Uh, tank zombies will be larger, and they will have um, two point five times the HP of regular zombies. Infection can be transmitted from zombie to zombie. Uh, but Beta-7 is immune to the infection, so they cannot become zombies. So Beta-7 will be very useful when dealing with 008 outbreaks. And Chaos Insurgency will also have access to SCP-008 now, so they'll be able to start SCP-008 infections. So I'm now a zombie. Zombies are AI control, but we have updated all the pathfinding, um, so zombies can actually navigate around corners and stuff now. There's also random movement as well. You do take damage slowly as a zombie. You get 300 health. And when zombies are shot, they will speed up to about sprint speed and they'll start sprinting after people. Um, like I 
that said, I can't really show that because there's nobody here to shoot me, but... Um, and yeah, the whole tank zombie chances and everything, and you can spread the infection now and all that. Good fun jazz. Go back to 457 here. There's some performance tweaks and stuff as well. We've been fixing bugs. Oh, that's a bug that has to be fixed still. Go. I now have a water gun. So this is the water gun here. It just shoots a stream of water. Like that. You can only use it when you're in range of 457. This is to prevent people from, you know, annoying people by shooting water at them in the... CDC and stuff, you know. Alright. 457's pathfinding has been updated. He'll no longer try to chase people through walls. We can bait him in here. He will go to the last known position of the person he was chasing. So he will attempt to get up there. And we have a sprinkler system out here you can toggle on. Watch. He's going to start getting smaller. There we go, he's gotten very really small. And he's gonna evaporate into steam. Just like that. And then he'll respawn back in his cell after about 10 seconds. Sorry, my cat was uh, chewing on my feet. Alright. Let's check the water gun as well. The water gun works the same way the sprinkler system does. It's just um, takes a lot longer with the water gun than the sprinkler system. The closer, oh, the closer you are to 457, the more damage your water gun will deal. I won't just keep blasting him because he's getting smaller and smaller. There. Takes a while by yourself. It's preferable to have two or three people shooting at him. Come on, there you go, he's getting smaller now. Yeah, now he's stunned. When he gets this small, um, he'll stay stunned for a bit. He will continue to grow back to normal size when left alone. So you have to keep shooting him when he's in this state. Because it's the only way to kill him. Just like that, he is poof. Alright, now I'm going to demonstrate what happens when you feed him. He will grow in size as he consumes fuel. We'll pop back into his containment chamber here. Alright, I'm just going to kill myself here. Right now he's gotten a bit bigger. That. Again. Again. No. Again. There go. I think that's as big as he can get. He's just tall enough to fit through these double doors when at max size. Let's bring him up so I can show that. Uh, he's still got some growing to do. Uh, just do a couple more times. Nice. 
this should be the last time. Uh, one more time. He will slowly lose mass on his own, so he wants to stay big forever. Yeah, that's as big as he gets. So he can fit the big doors. Alright. Yeah, as he eats people, he will grow bigger. So it's imperative to take him out as quick as possible. Although, you can run away from him, you know, when he's this big, you can't hit these small doors. You can just kind of cheese him a bit, you know, and just do this. But, yeah, I thought I could get by. So yeah, that's 457. Let me hold on, just gotta open up my notes to see what else to show here. I should really set this stuff up before I start my videos. So I'm not spending all this time looking. Oh yeah, we have SCP-0932 as well made, but it's not in yet. Um, we don't have enough time to get it in for this update. Fisk has been pretty busy. Lately, hasn't had a whole lot of time for building, and SCP-093 is a bunch of separate dimensions connected together, so there's a lot of building involved. But SCP-093 is made, we just gotta set up its uh, terrain and everything for it. I may make a separate video just to show 093 later. Yeah, so I mean, most of the other changes are behind the scenes changes and other things. There'll be a full list of everything that's coming. Uh, also, yeah, there's a uh, quip animations now. So there's a small, like, about half second period before you can shoot your gun, as you can see. So you can't just whip out, you know, like your M249 here. It takes a small second to actually start shooting, as you can see. This will hopefully cut down on people just, you know, of course, you still have to have fast reaction time. Half a second isn't a lot of time, but it gives people just a bit more time to react. Uh, current SCPs that will be coming the next update after next update. We're working on revamping 087. 106 is being worked on right now by Banan. Uh, we have um, what other SCPs. Uh, SCP-999 is going to be remade. SCP-178 and SCP-035. So you can expect all those to update after next. Yeah, we've just done some revamping, polishing, you know. We uh, changed how the containment chambers designs work to make them more modular. We turned everything into meshes so that we can easily um, change things and edit them in the future. It just makes our lives a whole lot easier. We're also going to be redoing our doors soon as well, changing up how our door system works a bit. Um, got some new guns being worked on too, that'll be coming in the future. And after 106 is done, Banan is going to get started on morph customization, so players are going to be able to choose their, you know, their, how they look, their appearance in-game. So people won't be stuck, you know, with the commander morph, they'll be able to, you know, use other pieces of equipment that they've unlocked before. So, after 106 is done, that's what Banana is going to be working on. And, um, first person guns, we have put first person guns on hold for now, because getting third person and first person to work alongside each other with the same assets is very hard. We're going to need to, um, get a separate set of animations commissioned for first person, and that's going to take a while, probably a month or two to get those done, because everything needs to be different for first person, and... It's likely you won't be able to switch between them on the fly, but when we do it, add it down the line, you know, if we ever do, I mean, I hope we do, but as of right now, it's just not possible, so I apologize to anybody 
the height for that, but it's a lot more work to get first person in than we thought it would be. So uh, that's going to have to be delayed for now. And uh, yeah, I don't really have much else to, to show right now. There's a, some other things that have been added, but I don't want to show everything off. You know, I want to keep some things a surprise. But yeah, we're just working on getting all of our crappy SCPs remade. You know, improving everything before we start adding new ones, you know. So we want to get the ones that are in, like, fixed up and stuff first. I think that's more important. But yeah, I mean, I hope y'all enjoy this update. It's not a gigantic update by any means. It's more of just a... It'll hold people off until we get medical and exterior done, which is going to be the next update as well. So you can probably expect exterior, medical, SCP-106, SCP-999, SCP-035, SCP-087, and SCP-178. It'll be all in the update after next update. And we're also going to be working on a tutorial for new players when they start playing the game. So new players will be able to access a tutorial that they can use to better understand the game, which I think is going to be very helpful.